Good morning and welcome to beautiful San Diego, or as I say in Anchorman, San Diego. San Diego. That was weird. I absolutely love this city. I come down here a couple of times a year. I have some good friends that live down here. We came down here this summer for Lincoln to golf at Torrey Pines and playing a big tournament and it was so much fun. There's good food, there's good golfing, there's beaches. The weather's typically good, although yesterday all it did was rain all day long. But today I'm going to be going golfing with one of my really good friends, Ben Solens. We've actually gone golfing down here together before and actually posted it to YouTube, I think on this channel. I mean, look how beautiful it is here. You got like fog on the mountains. The sun is coming up, it's early in the morning. It's just gorgeous. I can see why people want to live in California. So yes, I'm going to bring you along for my day. It starts right here in San Diego. I'm going to go golfing, get some lunch, show you guys around, and then I'm gonna drive this car all the way back up to Los Angeles and return this electric car that I borrowed. And I'm gonna explain later in the video how you could go golfing with me, maybe Ben Solens, and maybe even Lincoln here in California because we wanna go golfing with one of you. There's my guy right there, Ben Solens. What's up? This is your home course, huh? Oh yeah. Okay, everybody knows where to find you. Yeah, <laughs> Did you choose this place to go because it's got EV chargers at it? Yes, I did. <laughs> I've got my golf clubs. It's actually Lincoln's golf clubs. Fun fact, all of his friends call him Pi. So we did get Pi engraved on here. You could put a three letter word or two letter word on there. We chose Pi. So this is the great thing about living in California, which I don't live in California, but if I did, I would appreciate this. They are very friendly to people with EVs. But in order to get into these chargers, you have to have a guy come down, they unlock this gate for you, and then they have a charger inside. Electricity is so expensive inside of California, that they don't just wanna leave this unlocked for everybody to just pull up and plug in every single time because, surprise, surprise, if you didn't know, golf courses actually don't make a ton of money, but I'm so grateful that they're open because it's one of my favorite things in the world. So anyway, I'm talking too much. We need to plug this car in and get some free charge for the next four to five hours while I'm golfing out there with Ben and hopefully beating Ben because we're going serious competition today. Press this on. Just stick this thing on there and then plug it in. Yeah. We have a 729 tee time and the car is at 48% charge. I've been driving a lot from Los Angeles down to here, but if we stayed here for six hours and 25 minutes, that's how long it would take to get entirely full. We shouldn't take that long <laughs> if it's just the two of us. Boom. Goodbye, EV charger. We are plugged in. Whew. Okay, Ben, let's go golf. All right. Goodbye, car. Stay safe. Oh, I should probably lock it. Okay, Ben, let's talk about the rules here. All this right. is your home course. You get a bit of an advantage. I don't know what, what, do you know what your handicap is? 14. 14. My registered handicap is a 10. The last time I entered a score was three years ago. So I would say, yeah, we're pretty even. I, I, have, I don't golf that often. He comes out here pretty regularly. Just because you golf a lot doesn't mean that you can shoot crazy low scores. <laughs> Overall, the number one goal is we're gonna have fun today. That's the number one. Number two, we're gonna keep score as if we are in a tournament like what Lincoln does. So every single stroke is gonna count. If it goes white stake out of bounds, red stake out of bounds, we're gonna count it. There's no like lifting your ball up and like cleaning. I don't know, maybe there is a lift in place. Local rule, if it's all super wet right yeah. now, I could I could see a local rule. All right, that. local rule, lift clean in place in the fairway. It is cart path only for the carts today because it rained. It did rain more today than it did okay. during the massive hurricane that came through California where everybody was freaking out, right? Yeah, totally. This is way worse than what the hurricane brought. So, and they <laughs> closed schools for that. So hopefully. That, that's pretty funny. <laughs> all right, so hole number one, wait, which, which tee boxes? Oh, we're not going, what's this down here? Oh, that's hole 10, yeah. okay. Look at that tee shot though, like from back here, oh, through it's the trees. Amazing, yeah. that is gorgeous. Look down there, that fairway's way down there. You can play from the tips over here. Oh man. Oh, so we're going down and around the corner. Yeah, and it's a lot shorter than it looks. Is but this those, a par five? Par four, those bunkers are the target there. Wait, the bunkers, oh, I see. Those bunkers way out there. Yeah, you probably won't get them. They're probably 330. I'm not gonna film an entire golf vlog today, but I gotta show you the opening shot of me and Ben. We're gonna put some pressure, not just on Ben, but on me. First shot is filmed. Every single stroke counts. My goal today, break 100. Pressure's on. No warm ups at the range even. Yeah. No breakfast balls. He just absolutely smoked that. It is cutting 
onto the fairway around the corner. My goodness, this guy's strong. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whew. All right, I did not bring a golf glove. I had to borrow a tee. How far do you think you hit it down there on the fairway? 260 maybe, 270. Wow, at sea level. Aim for the bunkers. You can stay somewhat straight. Oh boy. That's How far gone. around the corner does it cut? <laughs> not that much? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, ball number one. We're getting another ball. Yeah. There it is. That's the one. Woo! If we were taking breakfast balls, I'd be sitting pretty in the fairway right now, but we're not. This is why you golf. This looks like heaven. The sun is burning off the clouds. You got the dew on the fairway. I've got this ball for par right there, and I'm totally going to make it. Maybe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, this game. Dan hunting for his ball. Can he do it? Oh, 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 that's close. There we go. Double bogey. We're gonna break Ooh. 100, I can feel it. Wow, this is amazing. You've got an elevated tee box with the fairway down there. You can see the green and then everything around it is these rocky hills. Like you can see bike trails and hiking trails all along the hills that go up in here. People could go hiking up into the clouds. This is a big reason why people live in San Diego. It's just the outdoor lifestyle is amazing and to a lot of people it's worth paying the extra taxes to be able to have this pressure's on let's see it oh, it's not bad leaking a little right i heard it that's the fairway <laughs> you love to see it look at that iphone 15 pro max zoom there's my ball right there in the fairway Oh, what a beautiful drive. I mean, he's gonna have a good like 80 yards into the green. Par time for me, it's birdie time for Ben. So I've been playing pretty good. I've got one, maybe two pars. I found a way to get a 12. That's right, <laughs> not ideal. Seven over on that one hole. So um, trying to get under 100, felt like it was gonna be really easy after I got two pars in a row, but now it's gonna take some work. Oh. Look at that guy. Nice shot. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh! Tap in par. We just played nine holes. The plan is to play 18 holes. We got a call that somebody ran into Jenny's car, Ben's wife's car. We're gonna go check this out and see what the story is. We're gonna check on that real quick and see what happened. We are done golfing. I broke 100. I did not go above 100, so that is really good. <laughs> We're gonna take off, so Ben definitely beat me by very, very many strokes. I may have lost a lot of golf balls, but I had a lot of fun today. I have some things that I need to work on. We have two hours and 37 minutes left. We were here for three hours, but if I would have been here for five hours, the car would be almost fully charged, which is super helpful. Ben's wife, Jenny, is a photographer, but also an interior designer. And a few years ago, they bought this house and moved out of the city, like closer to downtown San Diego and moved a little bit out. That's why we played at this course that's a little bit outside of the city instead of playing like right on the coast. And I've always wanted to see their house in person because it looks beautiful on camera. I've watched some of the videos of the way that they renovated this house. So we're going to go stop by, check out their house, see what it looks like. We have made it super peaceful and quiet here. Like, I get it. These houses were built in the 60s. And so it has just this amazing vibe driving down the street. Oh my gosh. Totally a vibe. The big wide open front door. There's not even a door handle. What do you do here? You just push on it. Oh, you just push it. Do not come to Ben's house and do not push the door open. He works out every single day and he's strong and he does cold plunges every day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the place. How old is this house? Was I right when I said it's 60s? Yeah, 1968, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So this whole it's room, I mean, Look at that. And then the artwork on the wall, super, super cool. I'm guessing you guys redid the wood floors yeah. in here. There's a big uh, false kind of ceiling here with uh, speakers and stuff. So we just kind of took all that out, took all this out, just opened it up, painted it white, tried to give it as much light in here as possible. It looks incredible. He's got his golf simulator right there, golf turf. No yeah. wonder you whooped me today because you've been practicing. Then we come in through here. There used to be a wall right here or a door. They tore that down and built the kitchen, made it look nice. It's still sectioned off, but it's, you know, it's not totally open, but it's also much more flows nicely with the rest of the house. Wow. This is the room that Jenny designed for the one room challenge, the home and garden magazine thing. 
if you're a designer, you don't have just a big black box on the wall. You want something that looks like art. So this is called the frame TV from oh, Samsung. Yeah. And so it, you know, even has like a little wood frame around it and very matte finish, so it's not glossy. So this is what we call the lounge, and this is where the kids spend most of their time. You know, they got the Nintendo and all that kind of stuff. This dog, it. look at this little dog. It's a year old, it's full grown. And his oh, name is Ace. Oh gosh. There was a ginormous rainstorm yesterday. My socks are already soaking wet from walking back here, and there's a little bit more of like debris out here. But this is the thing that I love about their backyard. Big old pool back here. Look at that. 1968, it has the vibes. This is like straight from the movies. When I think of California back in like the 70s, people would have parties yeah. out here, all the yeah, actors and actresses. Sick. This is the crazy thing. So Ben is really, really disciplined. He works out every day. He does cold plunges and he has this thing called plunge. I was just looking at this. You can hear the water circulating. This is, I wanna feel it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's colder than it looks. The study I read was 12 minutes per week. Or I'm sorry, 11 minutes per week. Mm. So I go in for four minutes at a time, just so that way if I only get three days, it's I, I cover my 11 minutes. So four minutes, like low 40s or high 30s. This day was not planned to be the house tour by Ben Solon, but <laughs> It's so good. Sometimes the things that are not planned turn out better than things you have planned. These are the VinFast stores. VinFast sponsored this video and let me take their car. Thank you VinFast for letting me take it for the last couple of days. I made an entire video that you can see it's coming up pretty soon where I go in depth about all of the different things that they've changed, software, hardware, just on these exact cars since they came out in March. I'm gonna come back here to California and go golfing with Ben in San Diego sometime in the next four or five months. Here's what I'll do for the little giveaway. Go to the VinFast store, take a picture of yourself at one of the stores with one of the vehicles. I'm gonna pick somebody that tags us on Instagram or on Twitter. We're just gonna randomly pick somebody and go golfing. Maybe we'll cover your golfing while you're there, but I don't want this to be like some official sweepstakes that we have to have all these rules and stuff. Just, do you wanna come golfing with us and hang out for the day? Which it could be anywhere from two hours if we do nine holes or six hours if we play 18 holes. I need to go drive home because as of filming this video right now, there's an F1 race over the next two days and I'm going to it. I might put the F1 video up first, so maybe you've seen it. It's gonna be a blast. So, all right, thanks for watching. We'll see ya. If Lincoln could have seen me today, he would have been very embarrassed. That's kind of why I stopped playing with him a bit because I've been playing such bad golf that I'm like, oh, it's kind of frustrating when you're with him and he's like so good and then I'm not very good. Hey, hey. buddy. Hey. Hi, Ace. Hi. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, look at you. I left my passenger window open the entire time we went golfing. The yeah. whole time. No big my deal. My luggage is in there, my computer's in there. I have a putter that's Lincoln's. That's a $7,000 putter that's sitting on the back seat. Yeah. Nobody took it. Thank you, San Diego, for being nice to me today.